Hey guys, what you see here is the new addition to the quadcopter family. Uh, back there in the corner was my ever trusted workhorse, the XK Detect 380. Uh, takes care of business, freaking strong as a house. Hovers great. GPS hold is awesome. It's got sporting the uh, Rimzibi OSD and also the uh, if you look underneath here Walkera G2D is that I hope I'm saying that correctly gimbal uh, I tried that CNC one I had to replace it because the circuit board went out it was basically not great for me maybe for you hopefully it works but didn't work for me uh, back here is also part of the RIMZB and also the uh, FPV I'm using the TS 832 which I do have ordered for the new addition to the family, which is the Free X. Uh, I don't know if this is Skyview or what it is now since Alishimo is no longer with the organization. Uh, looks pretty good. Even came with, even came with the gimbal, and the gimbal is not cheap. I mean, it's better than the $60 one that I bought on on uh, Amazon. Looks like really good quality, good circuit board. Um, I don't know. Some of the videos that I saw, it seemed pretty like it was pretty, uh, pretty stable. Not a lot of jello from the videos that I've seen. Also bought the extended fuselage to hold a bigger battery. It did come with a 3,000 milliamp one, which I'll find some use for it. But for now, I'm going to be using or switch out the fuselage with the bigger one. You can see the bigger battery tray, and it holds the 5,400 milliamp batteries. Also going to check out later on, after I see Dustin's videos, if I should uh, to try the Hubson 7000 milliamp battery and just see how long the flight time is fully loaded. Because right now I think it gets two minutes, not two minutes, ten minutes fully loaded with a gimbal and camera. I'm sure it should get at least 15 to 18 with the 5400 milliamp and with the 7000 we'll see. If it gets 20 minutes with the 5400 milliamp battery I'd be pretty stoked. So we'll see, time will tell. But I got a lot of work ahead. I don't think it's going to see any airtime until maybe about a week or so when I get everything the way that I feel is uh, is doable, is flyable for it. Also notice that the props for this that came with it, they seem pretty decent, a little bit flimsy on the flimsy side, but I, what I did discover is that these uh, Phantom 3 props uh, spun on them pretty good, pretty well. I mean, it was almost a perfect fit. So going to try them both and see what happens. I also have some carbon fibers on the, on the way. I am glad that these are however are not carbon fiber since they only came with one because as you know when you uh, for the most part carbon fiber is really brittle so if you hit something or fall upside down tilt the quad and the propellers hit the ground there's a good chance you're just going to lose those props or break them but with the plastic ones they seem a little bit more durable uh, but I've heard that the I've heard that the carbon fibers are better, so I'm going to try them both. Have them on the way, so we'll see. So that's about it for now. Oh, there's, they even have a good balancing charger, at least it seems. It's not one of those cheap ones. It goes up to here the 4S, and it does have actual balancing ports, which is pretty impressive. We'll see how that goes. So, yeah, nice job by GearBest. I mean, I, I ordered this, I think, on the 27th last month, and it just came in today. So about 15 days total, so not bad. Um, everything came in complete, kind of pretty happy with my purchase. Like I said, I'm waiting for Dustin to get upload his videos on the subject and uh, go from there because I'm going to follow those mods, whatever he does. And I think that he's probably going to be able to mod this transmitter out too. It actually has, unlike the XK Detect, where the cable was not actually all the way through, it looks as though this one is so maybe you can maybe he's going to do that uh, Phantom 3 range extender mod on it who knows so it looks like it might be able to be done but anyway I'm pretty happy pretty stoked with it so time will tell okay YouTube was well, Scott Gibbons signing out and we'll see you on the next video take care bye